Everyone, welcome Candace to the show. Now, Candace has been married to a man named Kyle for four years, and they have a three year old son together. So, in the beginning, Candace admits they were a happy couple. But two years ago, Candace went on a late night grocery run to pick up some food, and upon her return, an enraged Kyle not only accused her of lying and cheating, he slashed all four of her tires. So since that day, Candace says, Kyle has been a completely different man, one who uses intimidation and bully tactics to get what he wants. Watch this. My wife Candace became my property when she married me. The only reason we have problems in our marriage is because I know Candace cheats on me. I have zip-tied Candace to me to make sure she doesn't sneak out of the house overnight. She went to the store to go get groceries at one in the morning and claimed that the car broke down. So the next morning, I slashed off four of her tires because I know she was with another man. I saw my wife in the porn video with our neighbor. When I saw that guy in the store, I walked up to him and broke his jaw. Candace made me so mad, I threw her in the tub and I punched her in the face. I don't see myself as abusive. But if Candace lies to me, I am gonna call her a bitch and a whore. The only thing that can save this marriage is if Candace passes a lie detector test. I never wanted any of this drama. All I demanded was honesty and respect. Wow. So let's talk about that one incident. Okay, you're going out pretty late at night to get a food for him, to make him lunch for work. Yeah, we had the baby at a time. So I was going so that they could sleep because he got up so early. And the car wouldn't start when I left. So it was like two or three in the morning when I had called him to come and get me. And he didn't, he didn't say anything to me that night, didn't do anything. The next day he started yelling at me and accusing me of cheating. And then what happened with the car? He, <laughs> He stormed out of the house and he slashed one of my tires and I told him that I was gonna leave and I would still leave on three tires and he went back out and he slashed all four of them so that I wouldn't be able to leave. So that was the first big incident yeah. in the change. Yes. And then after that, it got worse. It got worse. He threw me into the bathtub trying to keep me to stay. And How about this, this story about he takes these zip ties yes. and ties you up to him in bed at night so he, you won't leave? He kept saying that I was going out and I was leaving and I was bringing other men inside the house. I was waiting until he fell asleep. And he would hit you? Yes. He started to accuse me of being in porn videos. Yeah. And the, the He would watch porn case. and then accused you of doing porn. Yes. When he was accusing me of doing the porn videos and it actually got where it was physical and he was hitting me and throwing me around and my son being exposed to it. That was the first that, time that that's, I really... That's a... Your son reacted. He'd get in the middle and be like, don't hurt my mom. That, that's what he would tell his father. Yes. Yeah, and you don't know how that's going to affect him. No. And... Uh, he, calls me names, calls me a bitch, calls me a whore. So w one of the reasons you're here today is that you've promised to take a lie detector yes. test. Yes, I have never so much as text another person, another man. I've never, right. he started accusing me of, of sleeping with him, wondering if we were talking. He thinks the guy looked at you funny. Yeah, and so he saw him in Walmart. He, he just, just hit him. Yeah, just went and up to him. Broke his jaw. Yeah, and his wrist. Did Kyle actually punch you in the face? Yes. Did you take I the pictures? pictures? I was going to actually pursue pressing charges on him and decided not to. And you're broken. If he can't see that I haven't done anything and he won't trust me and he won't believe me, then I just, I can't keep putting our son through it. Okay. All right, everybody, here's Kyle. Why I forget you, God. Nice to see you, Kyle. Nice to Have see you, seat. Mark. I'm glad you're here because I think that's a start. So yes. you obviously, in some part of your mind, believe that you need some help. Absolutely. But everything that she said while you were backstage, you don't deny it, do you? Absolutely not. I don't deny it. Do you feel you have a right to do all these things? Right. I had to do 
um, things to get the truth. You were my uh, best friend. You're my best friend. And I, I just want to make sure that you ain't doing things. Like she said, we were best friends. We had a bond. You took the bond a little too far. You zip tied her to the bed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I'd zip tie her right now if I had to, oh. to keep her from. And it's not, it's not, like I said, it's not what everybody thinks it is. Just because I'm married right. to you doesn't make me your property. Yeah. I understand. You don't get to do whatever you want. I just can't keep Kyle, doing no, that. But Kyle, you know you're putting your son right in the middle of this? Yes, I do. And that's one of the uh, primary concerns that we both share. That's why we need to find the truth. I, I just really need this. I so, feel like... Kyle, um, I, th I have a feeling that you think that if she takes this lie detector test and passes the lie detector test, everything's going to be fine. You believe that? Uh, I, yeah, I do. Well, guess what? It's, it's, it's deeper than that. I believe... Kyle, it's deeper than that, all right? Yeah. Your mistrust goes yeah. deeper than that. I wasn't always like this. I know you she were. She makes old. me do the things I, know. I do. I used to think other men were crazy when they say she makes me do this. Well, I think... And, but but I think, they're not I think lying. you're kind of nuts when you walk up to a guy all of a sudden in a store and all of a sudden cold cock him in the jaw. <laughs> But she may, I'm telling I you, I lost my <laughs> Yes, I lost it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But it's because everything I do, I do for my family. So, Dr. Tiffany, yeah. you've been listening to all this, okay? Do you see patterns here? Yeah, unfortunately, I am. And I think the first pattern and the thing that I think ruminates through this case and some of the other cases that we're looking at today is fear. There's a fear of her leaving. There's also a fear of what will happen if I try to leave. And you can't instill love and fear in the same place. What you're wanting... <laughs> what it feels like, Kyle, is that you're wanting her to prove that she loves you by any means necessary. And if she doesn't show you in action or say it in words or in any of the things that she does, you do something to inflict harm to her, which isn't love. It's more about control. Uh, Kyle, we have uh, Candace's results, okay? You're not being forced. <laughs> okay, Candace, were you the woman in the porn videos that Kyle found online? You said no, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> okay, Candace. During your relationship with Kyle, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other man? That says everything, doesn't it, Kyle? Yeah. That says yes. it all. Candace, you said no, and the lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Everybody, please welcome my friend Vance Johnson. So, Vance, yes, sir. there's hope for these guys. Oh, man, of course there's hope, Maria. I heard it. There, there, and there is love, but it's just not love that you're showing. Here's the thing. You've opened two recovery centers. Yes, you've, sir. Se you've seen improvement yes, from I have. people. Yes, absolutely. I have uh, the Vance Johnson Recovery Center. There's actually one in Las Vegas, Nevada, and one outside of Orlando. And what we're doing is we're helping people that are suffering with mental illness, dual diagnosis. There's hope, guys. Right after the show with psychotherapist Dr. Tiffany Henry. If I take this lie detector test, that will fix it. It's going to be OK. It's not. Former NFL star Vance Johnson was working with the men. How do you apologize for something like that? How do you apologize? I mean, you get on your knees, man. And you say, honey, I love you. And I'm gonna put myself up for you. And so now that you've passed this test and you're not a liar, let me show you how truthful I am. Let me love you. If you're watching this, babe, I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. And I wanna work on me. I love you. I apologize for how I've been treated. I just want you to forgive me, honey. I mean, I really do. I really do. I love you. I forgive you. It's all my fault. Have you been told that you're the father, but fear you're actually raising another man's child? Please call us right now at 1-888-45-MARI to speak with someone from our show about taking a DNA test. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you want to see more Mari content, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.